Simple movements in your Camtasia videos can make a big difference to engage your audience and help keep their attention. With the motion path effect, you can add movement to any element in your video. It will flow along a custom path that you control. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add and customize a motion path effect in your Camtasia videos. In this first example, let's move this camera video across a custom path on the screen. Position the playhead on the timeline when you'd like to move the camera video to a new location. From the Visual Effects tab, click and drag the Motion Path effect to the playhead location on the camera media. This adds a motion path point to the media, and you see a curved Bezier style line on the canvas. This is the default path of the curve, but you can easily drag and customize the path. Click and drag either of the endpoints to adjust the start and end locations. Grab and move this handle to adjust the curve of the path. Play it back or drag the playhead on the timeline to see the result. If you change your mind and want to move the camera video off the screen entirely, just select the endpoint and drag the media outside of the canvas area. Play it back to see the new result. When you like what you see, just click the Finish Editing button in the Properties panel. Let's look at another example where we use a callout to follow the slope of the path along the graph. I have this transparent circle callout in my library that I'll drag on top of the video. I'll position the callout on the timeline and drag the end to extend its duration. From the visual effects, drag another motion path effect and place it on top of this circle callout. A default path is added, but we can customize it. Click and select the endpoint and drag it to where you'd like it to end on the graph. If we play it back, the circle moves along the path, but it's not aligned very well. Here's the fun part. First, let's drag and extend the end of the motion path effect on the timeline to about here. Grab this handle and drag the position of the line so it matches the curve of the graph, like so. Now, let's add some additional points along the path to align it to the rest of the curve. Right click on the line and select Add Motion Path Point. Continue adding additional path points as needed to get the curve aligned just right. Here's some fun music for you to listen to while I add these additional points. If you need to adjust the timing of each added point, click and drag the path points on the timeline. This will help control the speed of the circle callout between each point. Click Finish Editing and then play back the video to see the result. If you need to continue editing the motion path, make sure the media is selected on the timeline and then click the Edit Motion Path button. Be sure to explore the different line types, easing options, and the Auto Orient setting in the Properties panel. Auto Orient is especially cool when adding motion path effects to arrows. To learn more about Camtasia, be sure to check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.